So how long does SEO really take for a junk removal business or any small business online? I got a couple of examples here to show you that it could take a very, very long time or it could take a very short period of time. It all depends on the competition. Let's take a look. What's up there guys, Izzy here once again with Do It Yourself, Junk Removal SEO, where I help small business owners, junk removal companies, dumpster rental companies, help them design their own SEO optimized website, teach them SEO, and show them how to rank their websites to get found for the business that provide in their particular areas. And today I'm gonna to discuss a quick, I have two examples to show you how long SEO can take for a junk removal business in this example here. As you probably already know, SEO is a very long-term uh, investment in your business. It's designed for the long haul. And on this channel, what I do is I try to teach you guys how to save money and have it, so that way you could do it all yourself and not have to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars monthly for some company to pay for their SEO services. So in general, SEO does take a very damn long time. That's just the honest, the honest truth. And I can totally see why Google does it. Google's always looking out for itself. It's always making sure the customer, the customer's happy and it doesn't want to tarnish its reputation by giving shitty results when people type in whatever they're typing into Google. So this is why Google is very stubborn and it takes a very long time to establish a website in rankings for particular search terms. The good thing about your own business, for example, like a junk removal company is that all you're doing is targeting a small keyword. You know, usually the junk removal with the city name, junk removal, uh, city name, state, those types of keywords, though the competition is a lot less, but still nonetheless, junk removal is very competitive online. Um, so it does take a while. So I got two examples here. Let's go for the first example is a junk removal in Long Beach, California. This young guy's, I've been helping him since January, I believe. And his website was brand new. Uh, Long Beach is a very, very competitive area, um, and we've been very, very consistent with what he's been doing, and I'm going to show you guys a quick chart for his website. Like I said, we started him in January, and he didn't exist at all online, and I just checked today. He's ranked number 20, so this is page, page two for Long Beach Junk Removal Service. Long Beach Junk, junk, junk Removal Service, he's number 24. That's page three, page three. So he's working his ranks, but as you can see, it's slow progression. There's February. Here's March, March, and April. So it's been four months. It's It's been a while. And, but like I said, this is a brand new website. It takes a long time for a brand new website because Google does not even trust it, doesn't even like it, honestly. That's just my opinion. I think Google just totally frowns upon it and just rolls his eyes whenever it sees a new domain out there because it knows most people are going to expire within one year. So it does take a while. And another example is I have a gentleman out in Santa Rosa that's uh he had a more established business. His website's been around for a couple of years now. The problem there is there is a tremendous amount of competition. One of them is here on YouTube. I've seen them, Sonoma Strong or something like that. Um, they have a monster, monster following on YouTube. They have a bunch of backlinks. They got a bunch of stuff out there. So it's a very, very competitive market. But his business was established a while back. His domain's got some age. So I started doing his SEO and right away, uh, within a few months, he was already on the first page of Google. And to this day, now he's ranking this number one, one, two, three, and four for search, search terms. For example, junk removal, somebody in Santa Rosa, sitting in Santa Rosa, type in junk removal in Santa Rosa. You see the two words junk removal. Uh, there's that Sonoma Strong. You'll see he's number one there on, on this uh, search term. Was still working on his maps. Um, it says it's been an uphill battle because there's a lot more competition out there. There's a lot more um, online competition. So it does take a while. So it, it totally depends on your situation. There's some places where there is a huge demand for junk removal and there's no websites out. There's places where there is very little demand for junk removal. And there's a bunch of websites. It totally depends on the situation out there, how long a website's been up there, uh, up in that area, and all that sort of thing. And I want to show you guys just an example of my own uh, do-it-yourself junk removal SEO. Uh, I wanted to f get found for the search term junk removal SEO. Those three words. I noticed there's people searching for that. 
So I made it my intention to get my website found for those three search terms. You can see these people paying ads. I think it's like 150 searches a month, somewhere between 100 and 150 searches a month for that. And of course, you're going to see Junk Removal Authority is top dog right here. I know they've been around for a while and they got a lot of authority online, but I've been slowly climbing up the ranks and I'm right here. I've been as close as number two at one point, but I'm ranking for junk removal SEO in that area. And I built this website back in November, November, December, January, February, March. Today is April, the end of April. It's been six months to get this website up there. And there it is by following the rules of SEO. So SEO does take a long time. Hopefully you're out there doing Google ads. I'm not an expert in that area. Craigslist, whatever the hell you got to do to make it happen. Just the way I have, I've been outreached. I've done Instagram. I've done all kinds of kinds of stuff to get my name out there. You got to do a little of everything. My area of expertise is SEO. And I'm just here to tell you, if you take the time, take the energy, take the effort and spend the money for SEO in the long term, very, very beneficial for your business. It's basically a billboard sitting online for anybody that types in junk removal, your business pops up and they'll give you a call for that business, for the service. So that's my thing with SEO. It, could, it, could, it totally ranges. You got a website with some age. Um, been around for a long time, you just got to fix it up. It could take one or two months. You got a brand new website in a very competitive market. It could take six, seven, eight, nine, ten months to make that happen. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys want to know more about some of the things that I do, some of the services I provide, my do-it-yourself program that I have now set up on my site, where you could show you, I show you how to build your website from scratch. If you need a new website, I do all the SEO, the SEO process that I follow. Um, I show you guys how to do that for yourself. It does take money. All SEO takes money, but at least you're going to be saving more money because you're going to be doing a lot of the stuff for yourself. Kind of like if I hire somebody to come do my flooring, I'm sure I could do it myself and save a bunch of money. Um, but I also can hire a professional to come just do it all out. So it's going to cost me more money. That's what I do with my service too. You can have me do your SEO for you, or I can show you how to do it yourself to save some money at the same time. So that's all I got for you guys. Till next time.